like no other. And tonight, former Alabama football coach Gene Stallings offers us a perfect example. Well, John Mark Stallings may have left us. Coach Stallings' love for his son is stronger than ever. Fox Six Sports Director Rick Carley is here tonight with the story of family, faith, and hope. Rick? You better believe it. Steve Tiff, over 46 years ago, John Mark Stallings came into the world of Gene and Ruth Ann. Now, while the couple's only son could never count to 10, the Stallings, and for that matter, thousands of others would count on John Mark to bring joy into their lives. Gene Stallings loved his son so much because his son loved back, as I found out when I traveled to the Stallings family ranch in Paris, Texas. Two hours north of Dallas, only miles from the Red River, lies nearly 50 years of memories. In the midst of the nearly 800-acre Stallings family ranch lies Jean and Ruth Ann's only son. August 2nd, 2008, the day John Mark Stallings left us. Did you come out here every day, every yeah. morning? Yeah, I'd just come and sit. You see, we got some benches there, and ordinarily they would be in here, but I'm trying to get some winter grass going where it'll look a little nicer. Upon birth, he was given a year to live, but John Mark Stallings bucked the odds. He brought 46 years of joy and life lessons to thousands. He was just yeah. a good person. Yeah, just didn't know a bad word. 46 years old, didn't know one. Uh, just saw the good in everybody. And this sounds a little silly. I'm not sure he wasn't an angel. I mean, he just he was just a precious little child. Alabama football fans grew to love John Mark in the 90s when the coach's son became a part of the Crimson Tide landscape. We go down to the training room. He, he thought the big deal was put a little ice on he just put a little ice on the player, help him get well. After winning the national championship, the head coach would receive the ultimate compliment. And a little quiet time right there after the game, he said, yeah, good job, Bob. Life on the ranch in Paris, Texas is good. Gene and Ruth Ann enjoy fresh air, a beautiful home. Their four daughters and many grandchildren visit often. But while the coach has felt the disappointment of losing games, he now deals with the pain of losing his best friend. You know, I'm hurting. Uh, I'm hurting inside. Uh, you know, I, I can hear him. I, you know, I, I want to go check on him. I, I don't want to ask him what he wants to do tomorrow. I, you know, it's just things that we've done uh, for a long time. John Mark was a fighter to the end. The night before his passing, his father made his way down the hall to Johnny's bedroom, where he lay. I don't think I'll ever complain about anything again. I, I really don't. Here's a little guy who just couldn't breathe at all, and, and he said, I'm fine. The next morning, John Mark was gone. If you could just have one wish, for your child, just one. You'd wish that they would spend eternity in heaven. I felt like Johnny had a one-way ticket. Sometimes we don't realize what we have until we lose it. But the Stallings family has known for years just how much they have been truly blessed. When you walk out to his gravesite in the morning and you sit on that bench, what are you thinking about? I try to think back of uh, the good things and maybe if he were alive, what would he want to be doing? Love to go look at the cows. Uh, you know, that's what, that was one of his favorite things to do. He said, Pops, let's go look at the cows. He, you know, he might go to sleep as we were driving down, but he would always say, I love the farm on a beautiful day. Do you look forward to be reunited with him? Yeah, I do. In fact, I've said this, this may sound silly, but I really don't mind dying. You know, I, uh, because I'm gonna be reunited with Johnny. So, I, you know, I love doing what I'm doing and, and right here and everything, but 
It's going to take the sting away from dying as far as I'm concerned. You know, and I've said this a number of times, I, I prayed to God that he would change Johnny, but you know, God changed me. He made a difference in our lives. Hopefully, we made a little difference in his. Another example of how close they were, John Mark would always take a dollar bill out of his piggy bank every Saturday, put it on his bureau, drop it in the collection plate the next day. Since John Mark has passed three and a half months, Coach Stongs takes a dollar bill every Sunday, puts it in the collection plate in remembrance of John. Three and a half months. Yeah, it, three and a half months, not a long time. No, do, you, do, you, do you get a sense that it, is, it has gotten any easier for the coach? He's surrounded. He has four daughters, some eight grandkids. He's got a bedroom for each of his kids. He's built sheds out in the land. He's a very busy guy. The busier you stay, uh, uh, you know, the better. Yeah. But again, if you like the entire interview, myfoxale.com will put it up in just a bit. You can see the an entire uh, a day that I spend out in Paris, Texas. Thanks for bringing yeah. us that story. That's well, a beautiful thank you. story. Well, I appreciate the Ruth and Jean having us. The, the coach in a different life. You well, know? you know this tough, tough coach, but uh, right. you know John the Mark. The human side. Of uh, him he brought out a different side of him. So uh, you'll see more of it on our website. Thank you. Very okay. Much. With the forecast for where you live.